I'm Detective Phelps of the LAPD. How can I help, Detective? Your name would be a good start. Dudley Lynch. Hired help. I run the place when the owner ain't around. Where is the owner? He stepped out. Somebody had to take more of Mrs. Patterson home. What can you tell me about the accident? Not a lot. It was busy in here, and all I heard was the impact. So you didn't see what happened? By the time I got out there, it was all over. Do you know the victim? Yeah, Lester Patterson. He's a regular here, or he was. Not one of your favorite customers? Lester was special, but not my kind of special. Was Lester drinking alone? No. He came here with his wife. She didn't seem too interested in the booze, though. I know I'm whistling. It's the only way I can stop you from snoring. Olive oil comes from olives. Where does baby oil come from? Everybody comes to raise. Miss Perry? Yes? I'm Detective Phelps. This is my partner, Detective Bukowski. Can you tell us what happened? Well, I came to the window because I heard people arguing downstairs. Then what happened? I saw a car hit that poor man and knock him down the street. What kind of car was it? A dark red Lincoln Continental. Did you see the license plate? Only the first three letters, I'm afraid. 3C8. Tell me more about the argument you heard. Well, there were two voices. A man and a woman, that's all. Why are you holding out on us, Miss Perry? I'm sorry. I was hoping to tell my story to the newspapers. I'd like to get my picture in the paper. I'm trying to find work as an actress, and things are pretty difficult. Cough it up, sister. We don't have all night. People arguing? They were husband and wife. I could tell by what she was yelling. Intimate things. Very embarrassing for the man. Thank you, Miss Perry. Your information has been very helpful. You can go now. You really think so? I hope you find that driver and put him away. You certainly got away with the dames, Phelps. <laughs> Give it a rest, Bukowski. Let's see what the patrons have to say.
Operator, message for KGPL. Putting you through now. Phelps, 1247. How could I help, Detective? I need to run a partial license plate, 3 Charles 8. Cross-check possible Lincoln owners. Suspect vehicle is a red Lincoln Continental. Just a moment, Detective. Only one possible make on that license. Registered to a William Shelton, 738 West Temple Street. Thanks for your help. Looks like we caught a break on this one. A witness overheard an argument. Lester and Lorna, there's nothing like airing your dirty laundry in public, is there? Patterson in such a hurry to leave. What is going on here? Lorna was pretty upset, so Leroy took her home. Lorna and Leroy are close. They've been talking about opening a new bar. Leroy? Leroy Sabo, the owner. How long have Lorna and Leroy been talking about this new bar? Who knows? I just served the drinks. Bartenders hear all sorts of things. Are you going to tell me, or do we have to start playing rough? When Lester was drinking, he treated Lorna like dirt. He gambled away all their money. Lorna pitched Leroy about the bar. I don't know how interested he is. Is Leroy doing well? <laughs> Hell no. The only thing keeping this place afloat are the poker games. Thanks for your help, Lynch. I'm going to need you to sign a statement with the patrolman. Sure, no problem. You get anything out of the regulars? They weren't giving too much away. They liked watching Lester and Lorna go a few rounds every other day. And Lester was a fan of the love tap. Can you drive to this one? Yes? Hello? Mrs. Patterson. Is this about my husband? We're investigating the incident, ma'am. I see. Come in, won't you? Can you tell me what happened? What's to tell? He got hit by a car and now he's dead. You don't appear to be too upset about the fact. Lester and I met on a furlough in 44. We got married that weekend. People don't understand it now, but that happened a lot back then. I see. So you probably did well to stick it out this long. What's that supposed to mean, mister? I think it's about time you left. I have someone here I beg I... your pardon? You're gonna have to run that one by us again, sister. It's okay, Lorna. I'm Leroy Sabo. Well, well. 
Nice to see you're comforting the grieving widow, Mr. Sabo. All right, wise guy. Do you have any intelligent questions you would like me to answer? You can confirm Mrs. Patterson's story. Lester lost at cards. He was kind of hard to control when he lost his temper. He turned without looking and walked right out in front of the car. It wasn't good. What's your relationship with Mrs. Patterson, Mr. Sabo? We're friends, good friends. You expect me to believe that? Look, I was filing for divorce. Mental cruelty. Lester could be a mean son of a bitch. And Lester knew about that? No, I hadn't told him. Well, hasn't this worked out well for the two of you? I feel almost bad for busting in on this little rendezvous. How did the car come to hit Lester? He walked straight into the path of an oncoming car. So he turned blind? Yes. He was still yelling at me when the car hit him. You were arguing in the bar and on the sidewalk? We were always arguing. So what? Admit it. You were baiting him, pushing his buttons. We can easily get the full story from the regulars in the bar. All right. Lester was playing cards out back. He lost, of course, and wanted back in. He suggested I earn the money on my back to get a mistake. That was a proposition he was putting to his so-called buddies. So maybe I was a little angrier than usual. Let's just say I took exception to his idea. The bartender said that you and Leroy were planning to go into business together. Can you explain how you'll get the money to do that? I have a little money saved away. You're being economical with the truth, Lorna. You want to back that up, little man? You increased the premium on Lester's life insurance. GI insurance policies have a $10,000 payout. It was Leroy's idea. Lester lived on the edge. He was always getting into fights, crap games, peanut, all you name it. Turns out it was good advice. It speaks to motive and premeditation, Lorna. You're forgetting the hit and run detective. You and Mr. Sabo have an interesting day. I'm sure we will, officer. Now, if you could both just leave. We're leaving, ma'am. Sorry for your loss. I can see what a tough time you're having with all this. Cole Phelps, badge 1247. How could I help, Detective? Messages for me, please. Just one, Detective, from the coroner. Message reads, Phelps, see me at Central Morgue immediately. Results of the Patterson autopsy. Thanks, ma'am.